And today we're going to be doing a easy zombie walk and this is going to be using the layered blend per bone node. What I'm trying to show is that you can blend animations to create new animations and there's no need to keyframe or hand animate so much. You don't need to use a control rig hopefully as much as you might think. I'm just going to give you a glimpse of what's possible. To get started I'm just in the third person template right here. And we're just going to go into characters, we'll go into mannequins, we'll go into animations, and we're just going to go into this ABP, the animation blueprint for Manny. And we're going to go ahead and just dock this up top. And we're going to go into the anim graph here. And it's already rigged up, but we're just going to go ahead and commandeer it. So we're going to disconnect it. And we're just going to grab this output pose down here. The three animations that we're going to be blending are the MM fall loop and I'm going to drag that there. The walk in place right here, the run forward here. That's pretty much the order that we're going to blend them. Now one of the things is if we marquee select these three, let's come over here and make sure to loop the animation otherwise it won't work properly. So we've just looped them all and then we're going to go ahead and search for that node the blend node. So we search for blend. It should show up here per bone. This one right here. Layered blend per bone. And I've already done this several times so I'm going to kind of just make this as simple as possible. We're just going to go ahead and add a pin here. And we're going to put the walk in place as our base pose. The fall loop as our blend zero pose. And our run forward as our pose one, blend pose one. And then this is going to simply plug into our output. And now if I select this node, you'll see we have, we open up this layer setup, you'll see we have an, an array, and then we have index zero, which is this one, and index one, which is this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to blend the walk in place to the upper part of the fall loop and it that'll make the character put his hands out and what we want to do is his arms out so what we want to do is add two elements to the ray and we're going to blend at the clavicle so here we're, we've just got to type in the bone name exactly so it's going to be clavicle underscore r and we'll leave the blend up at zero which is the the maximum strength blend and then we're going to do clavicle and this won't work if you misspell the bone name. Clavicle L. And that's going to make the mannequin stick its arms out. So in fact, I can compile and you'll see how its arms are sticking out. I'll go ahead and pause that. And we're just going to add some head motion and we're going to get that from this one. So now we come down to the next index here. We'll add an element here. And this is going to be the neck 01. Neck underscore 01. And for this, you can play around with different values. I'll go ahead and compile this and hit play. And you see the head, how wobbly it is, which is a little crazy. So what I'm going to do is let me pause that and let's just put it at an eight. And now we compile it and save it. And look at what we've got. Pretty cool, huh? Now we could have tried to do this by hand, but this would have taken, I think, a lot more time. And it probably wouldn't have even turned out as nice as this. So now what we're going to do now that this is going is we're just going to hit record. And we'll select our content folder here and go OK. And let's let it record for about five seconds. And then we'll go stop. And now if I come up here to the content folder here, and I double click into this animation, there it is right there. And what I can do is I can make it now any length I want it. So let's say I only want it to be, let's say I'll put it at 120 frames. So I'll click right there on this right there, on that little, that top of the playhead or whatever right there. And we'll just remove the final frame. So this will be 120 frames. And we'll save it. And there we go easy zombie walking <laughs> it's pretty cool
And so, like I said, this is working, trying to work a lot smarter instead of harder. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, and I'll talk to you next time.